All right, man. It's always some shit. A uh, student dies after being shot during bathroom altercation at Joppa Town High School. Uh, that's one one hell of a name, but let's let's go ahead and look into it. So it's, uh, just days after the last school shooting, another one has occurred. According to the news, a student from that particular high school was shot by a classmate Friday and has died in the hospital. According to Hawford County Sheriff, the victim was identified as 15-year-old Warren Curtis Grant of Edgewood. Let's, let's go ahead and listen to With, uh, the unfortunate news. As we broke from the last press conference, I was informed. As we broke from the last press conference. Informed that our victim in this case did not survive the shooting. Um, we have taken from that time to now to uh, catch up to family members in order to make notifications. I don't know why this stuff keeps happening at high schools and just schools, period. But, bro, at this point, parents are going to have to start getting charged. Okay? That's just going to be the only way. Y'all's parenting is trash. Y'all got to step that parenting up. A lot of y'all, y'all y'all are just terrible at parents, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. You're, you're terrible. Your parents were terrible. Now you're terrible. You know what I'm saying? And, and this is the result of terrible parents, bro. This is what we have. This is the reason why this keeps happening. Y'all have guns all laying around the damn house. You know what I mean? Kids know exactly where to find them. Like, y'all are just, y'all suck as parents, bro. So that's why we've held this for just a bit in the uh, um, bringing y'all back together. Uh, the family was just notified within the last half hour at the hospital. Yeah, they were just notified 30 minutes ago from this hospital with this is just this is just ridiculous, bro. Okay, this is just ridiculous. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this. It says the sheriff explained that emergency calls came in around twelve thirty six p.m. reporting a shooting, initially feared to be an active shooter situation. The incident was later clarified as an isolated event. By twelve forty five, uh, the news ended up reporting that the school was being evacuated. Um, According to Galier, the 16-year-old student attending his first day at Joppa Town High shot Grant in a bathroom. It is believed he was hit by a single gunshot. School nurses immediately provided aid before Grant was airlifted to a hospital. The sheriff added that the 16-year-old suspect fled the scene but was apprehended within minutes at a nearby apartment complex and was taken into custody. The teenager will be charged as an adult and the motive remains unknown. Okay, so this is just, uh, I don't think that's how you, but anyway, uh, why schools don't have metal detectors? We have a severe issue happening within our culture of kids that I believe exceeds mental health. There needs to be a hard reset. At this point, school needs to be uh, invest in a metal detector. Yeah, I, I believe the metal detector thing would be pretty cool. Bro, what's going on with these kids? Maybe we shouldn't limit metal detectors to only schools in the hood. Facts. Why do children have guns in school on its first day? It's just crazy. Every day I wake up and think about I if I really want to finish my teaching degree, having to be responsible for so many little lives and people to be able to take them at any moment because no one is willing to address the actual problem. Go arrest the parents too, please. Y'all keep giving me reasons not to have kids. We was in gangs and used our fist. These new kids different. Maybe y'all need to go back to remote learning. Shaking my head. I'm going to just homeschool my kids at this point. And I do not blame you. But this is definitely what we have right now. And uh, let's get over here, man. Kind of look at what's going on here. I don't know what, what this is about. So it looks like this is where they were trying to get the team that had got shot. They were kind of trying to, you know, get to his aid. I'm going to stop it right there because I don't want to go too far. Okay. I know y'all want to see everything and, and all that type of stuff, but, man, I, I can't do all that. Okay. This is the where everybody was evacuating, looks like. I don't even know what that is. I ain't gonna hold y'all. 
Oh, I, it's giving school shooting vibes. I don't even know what's going on right now. It is like a thousand police out here. More this is crazy. I just don't understand why y'all keep doing this at schools, bro. Just doing this, period. But, you know, I mean, shout out to uh, this particular high school, bro. Uh, and blessings to all the children. Blessings to that child's family that lost his life as well. Man, this is just some crazy shit, bro. But, like, parents have to get charged. Parents have to be dealt with. And that's just what it is, okay? That's just what it has to be. This is what it's coming down to, man. Because I don't know if this will be the last time. I really hope so. But uh, just the way that it's looking, it's not going to be the last time, bro. Okay? Uh, parents are going to have to start getting charged as well. And I'm talking about, like, life uh, with no parole for parents. It's just what it is, bro. Y'all got these demonic ass children. Children is going through Lord knows what. And bro, this keeps happening. Y'all, this bro. I don't know, man. But uh this is just what we have, bro. And at this point, I don't know. I just don't even know, bro. Let's look at this. This is an important message for our high school community. The Hartford Sheriff Office has responded to the school for an isolated incident on campus today. There was a fight on campus to known parties. A weapon was brought onto campus and used in the incident. So that's what they had ended up sending out, looks like, to the school sent that out to the parents and things like that. But this is just what we got, bro. Kids are traumatized. Some of those kids are not going to ever want to go back to that particular school anymore. Some kids ended up losing their friend as well. I mean, some kids ended up sitting up there seeing this. Some kids were having to sit up there, man, and tend to the aid of the child that got shot. And it was very traumatizing. So with that being said, bro. This is just a crazy, crazy situation, but I want you guys to get in the comment section, especially you parents, uh, and y'all let me know, man, what do y'all think about this, bro? What do, what do y'all think needs to be done, okay? Because this just keeps happening. It just keeps on happening, bro. And I know that there's going to be a lot of kids that are going to get taken out of that particular school. Not to say that that's going to help. I mean, because you can go to a whole other high school and you're going to have some some kids there that have, you know, dumbass parents, okay? Uh, yeah, they're going to have some dumbass parents. Everywhere you go, you're going to have students that have dumbass parents. And this is a result of kids that have dumbass parents. And that's just what it is. In a dumbass school. I mean, I, I did see that the, the school have implemented uh, something, you know, uh, where they have those little cards and all they have to do is just keep pressing the button and things like that. And that, you know, alerts the school that, you know, there's something going on over there at that particular part of the school. You know, they can see the map. However, that is not enough. Y'all definitely need metal detectors and y'all need metal detectors at every door. OK, uh, right as you're walking in, it should sit up there and get you. You know what I'm saying? So that has to happen. You can't go to the gym without, you know, going through that metal detector. You can't go to practice without going through that metal detector. You can't go to lunch without going. Through, you know what I'm saying? Can't get inside of the school at no point. You know what I mean? Without going through a metal detector where there's. um you know, an adult present, you know what I mean, watching this, you know what I mean, preferably a security guard or a cop. Uh, so at this point, y'all got cops at the school, but the, that's not enough, all right? Just having one particular officer there at the school is not enough. A lot of times the uh, those officers be nice. They be shaking hands with students and things like that. You know what I mean? They got their students that they think is cool. And, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just getting out of hand, bro. And at this point, man, y'all got to do something more. OK, but shout out to uh, that particular high school, Joppa Town uh, High School and the uh, students that were affected by this particular incident. Prayers for America.